Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Asus VivoBook 16, the X1605 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your speakers. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to go to the bottom case where we can take out your screws. So as you see here, you've got four screws along this bottom edge. You've got two screws here, two screws here, and two screws in the middle, giving you a total of 10 screws. After all those screws are removed, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because they tend to scratch your cases a little less than metal ones do. But you're going to take it and go around the outside edge, the seam, between the bottom case and the palm rest, and gently but firmly pry the bottom case off from your computer. Now don't put the pry tool too far in, you could damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge, and if you get stuck in, in one place, leave it, go to the other edge, and work your way around in the other direction. This one wasn't too difficult to take off, just so you're aware. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a quick side point with computer repair guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer projects, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, to the tools and supplies that I would use on this model computer, as well as all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model of VivoBook. Now, one thing I do before touching anything in a computer, guys, I either remove or at least unplug the battery. A computer is safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right here along the bottom. To get this battery up, there's four screws and it's plugged into the motherboard right here. Now, if you see in, in your plug, guys, there's a metal part right on top that holds down the plastic plug. So to get this off, you're going to slide that metal part up to free this up. And then you can snap that right off, up and off of your motherboard to get that battery out. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. You'll see a speaker here on the right side of my screen in the corner and a speaker here on the left side of my screen in the corner. The blue and white wires here are what connect the speakers to each other. And when taking these out, be careful because they do run through these slots here on the bottom of the touchpad down over here. So when you're putting your replacement speakers in, make sure you run them as close as possible to what they are here, because if not, they could be loose. And when you snap your bottom case back on, you could pinch those wires. So make sure you run them exactly like they're seen here. And then they plug into the motherboard right here in the corner. Now these speakers are not actually screwed down, guys. You'll see the yellow rubber washers here that hold the speakers down over these two posts on each speaker for sound insulation. So you can just wiggle these speakers off and they'll come out. Again, they're not screwed down. To get this out of the, of the plug right there, remember, it's better to not pull on wires when you have a choice, uh, but there were no hard grips on this to get it out. So you can try using a pair of pliers, or if you do decide to pull on the wires, which you may have to be very careful and try to get it at a really nice flat angle so you're not putting unnecessary strain on those wires. If you are looking for speaker replacement options, I will try to have a couple different ones for you below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts. And if you are having sound issues with your computer, guys, it's possible that your speakers are bad and need to be replaced, uh, but it's also possible that it's a driver or software issue and something may just need to be updated. If you want to try doing that, there'll be a video link above also below in the description on how to update your software and all your drivers first uh, before you try getting in here and actually replacing your speakers. So I hope this video was helpful, quick tutorial on how to access your speakers in this model computer. So that's the video guys, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. 
First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.